Next I'm going to show you how to put the Delrin bearings in. This again is the Delrin bearing. It's got the front side and then the back side which is flatter, has the little notches. I'm going to put this one on the inside of here. I know it's going to be hard to see because it's underneath this lip, but it's almost impossible for me with the size of my fingers to attach these if I was to put this on the outside. So I'm going to put it in here. I move it about till I feel the notches kind of catch in the, the square holes. I take one of these sleeves and I put it through. I take one of these rivets right here. I put it through the sleeve. I take another rivet and put it through. Sorry, another sleeve I put it through and then another rivet. Okay, and now that Delrin bearing is in place inside there. I know it's kind of hard to see, but the reason we do that is because the bearings themselves have round holes, whereas the metal has square holes. If I was to put this into a round hole, a square hole, you get this horrible banging and not smooth motion. Once you create that circular hole, you get a little bit less of that, and we're going to see in a second a way to make that even better. So you have to always use bearings whenever a shaft is going to pass through a piece of metal.